Welcome. In this video, we're going to see an application of improper integrals. So suppose an industrial pollutant is seeping into the ground near a factory, and clearly someone has figured out the rate at which this industrial pollutant is seeping in quarts per month. They have figured out that it's given by this function. And if the seepage of this pollutant goes unchecked indefinitely, what is the total amount of pollutant that will seep into the ground? Well, if you recall, to figure out the amount of something, Given a function representing a rate of change, we need to integrate, since the integral of a rate of change will give us the net change. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we're integrating 4,500 divided by t plus 2 quantity cubed with respect to t. And now what are our limits of integration? Well, currently, zero months have passed from the current time I am sitting in right now. So our lower bound is zero. And if this goes on indefinitely, we're saying there is no end to it. So I'm gonna make that infinity. And now usually when we rewrite these as a limit, we put a t here. But if you notice, we already have a t in our limits of integration. So I'm just going to pick any letter. And it doesn't matter, you can pick the first letter of your, of your name. You can put a heart here if you'd like and make one of your limits of integration a heart. I'm gonna use L. So the limit is this curse of L approaches infinity from zero to L of 4,500 over t plus 2 cubed dt. Now we can evaluate. This is the limit as L approaches infinity. That still stays the same, but the integral is now. But the integral has now been evaluated to negative 4,500 divided by 2 times t plus 2 squared. And we're evaluating this at our limits of integration from 0 to L. Rewriting further, we have the limit as L approaches infinity of negative 2,250 divided by T plus 2, excuse me, L plus 2 squared minus, and again, another negative 2,200, so we're going to put plus here, plus 2,250 divided by, divided by 4. Rewriting further, we have the limit as L approaches infinity of negative 2,250 divided by L plus 2 quantity squared plus the limit as L approaches infinity of 1,125 divided by 2. Well, as L approaches infinity, the denominator here of this fraction will get larger and larger, but this numerator will stay fixed. That tells me that this whole fraction will approach infinity. So since this limit is zero, we end up with the limit of a constant, which is just the constant, 1,125 over two. And now in a real life context, this is not what you would tell someone. You would tell someone it's 562 and a half. And 562.5 or a half of what? Well, we'd say quartz. So left unchecked, so left unchecked, if this industrial pollutant is seeping into the ground at this rate, we know that over time, about 562.5 quarts of this pollutant will seep into the ground near the factory. I hope this video was helpful.